And Spencer. It's Tuesday, and I hope everybody's having a good day, per usual. Well, this is going to be a short stream, and I'll repeat that again in a minute when people get here. Because mm -hmm. I know... <clears throat> Not like a, a stream about Nigel <clears throat> short, but, you know, it was short in length. Yeah, we're getting started late, and, you know, we just don't need <clears throat> the, the pressure today. Right. But chess club's open, got work to do, etc. I sent out a whole bunch of emails, so, so if you're in my queue for an email, <laughs> you should you should get it in the next day or two. I'm trying to email, email, email. What what the emails? <laughs> yeah. And then I still need, we have to resolve our graphics designer. I have to email those folks. I have lots of more emails to do. We have three viewers. Can't have more fun than emails. Yeah. So today is a very short stream. If anybody's there yet that wants to play me, we'll start out with three or five minute rated or unrated. I'll play one or two. We're not playing as many as usual because I right. want to... Get right to the lesson, because I think we're probably only going to stream for an hour. You know, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. So be sure to challenge Karen early and often, like right now, if you're watching. But we have three viewers. Yeah, so somebody might of the three, <laughs> although we're one of them, I think. So come on, you two. <laughs> it's got to go in already. Let me strike fear into your hearts. If I chose to, which... You know, I'm not, but if I chose to, <laughs> I could see what viewers are there lurking. I can see oh, yeah. on the stream, That's true. but I'm not going to do that because you won't know, be exposed. Got to have some, <laughs> got to have some privacy in life. You should be able to lurk on the stream and not be called out. So I won't do it. I'm just saying theoretically it could be done. <laughs> you know, personally, I'm not much of a lurker. You know, on other people's streams. Oh really? Oh, when I, I go on other people's hey, streams, Scott, I say hi. Good. Oh, I have like five different windows open, and I, <laughs> on most of them, I don't yeah. talk. Oh, yeah, I hardly, I don't talk, and mainly because when I do, it's real nice that people know who I am, but I don't want to like overtake, people like to do the Karen emote, which is real sweet. Right, right. So unless it's like no, the you're chest, too famous, I get it. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't just don't want, I want to be under the radar, just trying to enjoy the stream. Totally, and I don't necessarily totally. want to have to talk a lot, so I just won't even post. A lot of times people are like, hey, Spencer, like they'll type in the chat. They'll be like, hey, Spencer, how are you doing? I'm like, should I really be explaining <laughs> this? I mean, watch somebody else's stream, you know? <laughs> so I usually say good. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know that much about, you know, internet society and how to follow those rules. Yeah. You're not a lurker, Scottish demon goat. <laughs> You're clearly not. Well, I mean, the thing is, is there's I don't think there's anything wrong with lurking because I maybe it's because I lurk. It's just <clears throat> sometimes I I'm having a quiet moment, so I may not mm -hmm. want to post, and that's fine. That's fair. You know, all right, there he is, the goat. I knew I could count on you, goat. Now let's go. Let me move this back. I've got too much stuff here today. Hey, it's Maxi I. <clears throat> hey, Maxi I. How's it going? Yeah. Time yes. no take notes. Oh, smart there, smart. <laughs> I didn't think I. All right. Here we go. Goat. Yeah, it has been a while. Goats of London. <clears throat> Where was in London? Dep. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part. Uh, I went already over. Yeah, that sets so unusual. The depth. Yeah. I like how he uh, he challenged you to five minute. Usually the <clears throat> goat's going for three C's, but not this time, I suppose. Saved me. I was trying to work out. Frankly, frankly, ridiculous. How's it going, Bishop? Takes it. Well, I'm glad that you know you didn't have to work out, and instead you could just um, watch some chess. Ch watching chess, it's like a mental workout. You know, assuming that you're trying to understand the game.
Good thing my dad didn't see you play F3 here. I know. <clears throat> I don't know. But you asked me to try something new, and that means I'm not going to know what to do. <laughs> okay, F3 wasn't necessarily bad. Right. Just, you know, never do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Let's see. You can play against Karen. Try a little X Clam challenge. Type that in the chat. And uh, it'll give you the link to click the link. And then, well, you could probably take it from there. But I do like this Benoni structure that Scottish Demon Goats is uh, mm -hmm. yeah. erecting, <clears throat> let's say. <laughs> That's the right word. <laughs> Nobody's criticizing your word. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Your username's basically the same as your Twitch name, if not the same. I get it. It's actually kind of hard for me to see your Twitch name because it's in that neon green. And Karen likes the white... Uh, the white background for some reason. I'm more of a dark mode guy myself. Mm -hmm. But everybody's got their uh, peculiarities. True. <clears> hey, <throat> oh, you're already like a minute down. Oh, yeah. All right. He's going to get your goat at this rate. Always repeat. Mm -hmm. Now you guys are playing well. Get it going. I forgot about the time. Let me just do that. I was just kind of daydreaming. I'm tired today, and it's just the way it is. What a day for a daydream. <laughs> Custom made for a daydreaming boy. Uh, perhaps. Little maneuver. Hmm. See, somebody has two bishops. It's easy to tell who's better. What? Because you have two bishops. Mm. <clears throat> Interesting play there by the goat. I like it. See, this makes up for F3, always sack the exchange. I like it. Yeah, Maxi understands. Maxi gets it. If only you were subscribed to my dad's channel, <laughs> then you'd have the emote about it. So he's about to double it up. How did I know? I keep getting text messaged. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, that was a good move. By the goat. Got handed to him. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Good thing backhead's got you covered. Do what? Uh, no, there's just talking to the chat. Hey, Boris is in here. How's it going, Boris? 
Yeah, I'm not much of a chess observer either, Maxi. I don't really watch too much chess on, on Twitch or, or YouTube anymore. <clears throat> but there was a time when I did. I did watch a lot of chess before it was uh, as popular as it is now, actually. So basically, I'm a hipster. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm doing all right, Boris. I think Karen will uh, sympathize or empathize with you there on being tired, whichever one makes sense. Mm -hmm. with, ha with that hair, you can say you're hipster. Yes. I am Mr. Hip. <clears throat> this looks like uh, you're going to lose on time for sure. Yeah. It does seem that way, doesn't it? I don't really know what I can do about it at this point. I'm tired. It's just the way it is. Some things will never change. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I played a decent um, game against Ben on Sunday until I got flagged. Yeah, I hate it when that happens. It's the way it is. Uh-oh. It's the way it is. Yeah, I don't know why I was so slow. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah. That's not what I meant to You're do. You're always though. doing that. <laughs> not always. He's doing frequently enough. All right. <laughs> good game. Oh, see, so you resigned uh, right before you flagged, right? Point seven. Um, so that was pretty good. <laughs> that was like quick. Yeah. Good game. Hey, homomorphic, how's it going? Seems like you were better most of the game, but then. Uh, too slow. I'm too slow and I'm tired. Uh, you played a decent game against Ben, yeah. So most people would uh, like develop their pieces to protect the pawn. Because then you get two for one. You protect the pawn and you develop the pieces. Now you could be tricky. You could go here. Then when he takes it, because he would, and then you win his knight. Classic fork. So well, my idea was dumb. I was going to... Castle Queen side, which I didn't even do. I just, I, don't, I just didn't play very well. I didn't think. F three, it's tough because uh, mm. E six is a good move. If mm. you if you play C four, he might have no. He can't do this because you could still check even. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was thinking if you take, he could do that, but even that's not clear. So F three is probably fine. So you should play C four. Like the point of playing F three is that you really want your pawn here. Because F3 is a bad move otherwise. That's why I never play F3. Right. But it protects this pawn, so you want to do everything you can to keep the structure intact. So uh -huh. when you play bishop c4 and took like that, now F3 looks kind of silly. Like you'd rather yeah, knight yeah. F3, for example, yeah, yeah. or any okay. other move, really. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do. This all seems good. I mean, even still, you're fine here. It's not like you're significantly worse probably close to equal mm -hmm. he should have played g6 bishop g7 instead of bishop e7 yeah you can send me a challenge i don't really know who's in the in Q. the queue but you're welcome to to send me one chess song <laughs> we're not going to play a whole lot of games today because it's a short stream so we're going to do a little little quick lesson and then we're out if i had black i'd probably go there instead of there because h6 looks like a good square mm -hmm. He played there, <laughs> and he took it. Right, so here he's threatening this move. <clears throat> you don't want to let him play b5, get some queenside space going. So I'd probably go here, I guess. Then if he goes here, I'd go like that. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're looking really nice, aren't we? And we stopped that move, too. So if I had black, I'd go here. Said he played this because he likes to trade, I guess. Still, I'd probably play b5. That was good. I like that too. Yeah, probably you could like take his knight and go for some opposite color bishop's attack. But uh, I don't really think you should be better. This was a good idea by the goat. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, you sack the exchange. It's interesting. You got a pawn and the bishop pair, so it shouldn't be bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, like if I had black, I would have always played this. And if I had white, I would have always played that to stop that. Oh, okay. But it doesn't matter too much, you know. It's just a positional thing. It's a positional thing. Yeah, this is a blunder because of rookie three. That was a strong move. Now this is collapsing. You had a, a pretty cool tactic here. Here you could go like this. Oh, yeah. Hanging everything, but it's all pinned and attacked. So if mm -hmm. he takes your bishop, you take everything. I guess he could play queen up seven, but you win an exchange here, no matter what. Right, yeah. Darn it, it's either. Okay, you, you were going to lose on time at this point. It was faded. Mm -hmm. Good game. How about bishop takes h7? Oh, instead of bishop c4. So you just want to do a less cool version of my move, but it also wins a pawn, so it's probably better. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. I only saw the cooler move. <laughs> but yeah, this wins the pawn, too, and the exchange, so why not? Yeah, definitely. Do you want to get another one in? Yeah, I think we can do one more, maybe, and then we'll see. Yeah, the Rock. One, one more, and then we'll get going. Hey, yeah. The Rock, how's it going? Oh, Karen will only play hey, five Kinston. minute or three minute with no increment. Yeah, I think if it's longer, it gets a little bit, too, you know, boring. Yeah, for the viewers? Yeah. Because they want to play. You know, they want to play. The, yeah, and also, you know, already it's not the highest level chess. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so at least on my end. So far, it's pretty high level. <laughs> I hate it when it does that. Oh, it came back. She won't play one plus one. I saw bishop c4, but knew I'd win on time. Yeah. I know how it goes. What if we challenge four minute beating the system? <laughs> I think she'd accept a four minute in general. Yeah. <laughs> Who has <asked> that? <laughs> the rock. Yeah, definitely. That would be fun. It's fun. Yeah, sneak in there. <laughs> I like it. Let's see. It's Frosty. How's it going, Frosty? Oh, I think it's... <clears throat> well, I, I like white. Being a light castler, though. I never thought about myself that way, but I do procrastinate because I feel like I want to do something else. Well, that's, you know, that's sort of a French thing, you know. In the French defense, it's pretty common to <clears throat> to postpone castling, usually because the center's pretty closed. Yeah, that's true. Obama always finding the compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Lee Chess crashed for like half an hour yesterday. Yeah, also I couldn't give a lesson today because uh, my student, you know, we use Lee Chess and, and Lee Chess studies were down today. Mm -hmm. Dang, that was a good move you played. Hmm. Never play F6, come on. Yeah, I guess they're doing some maintenance on Lee Chess. <clears throat> what is he thinking about here? I don't know. I mean, I didn't really see. I guess I should have maybe gone queen takes h7 check, but I didn't see it. Wow. So maybe he just not saw it. I mean, it seems like, yeah. He, I mean, knight c6 seemed fine. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, didn't change much. This is like when Anderson hung his H pawn on purpose to run away. <laughs> you know, last time. Who? Uh, we were we were looking at uh, the defensive sacrifice, and he hung his H pawn and ran his king away on purpose. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> sort of like that, <laughs> <laughs> except for the on purpose part <laughs> and the running away part. But other than that, it's basically yeah. the same. Always repeat, what are you talking about? That's what you should do. Oh, 
Hard to argue with that move. Although you were arguing with it, but mm. it was too tough. Man, I can't wait to go to karaoke. I hate to say I do talk about it. But too you can't much. go. I mean, you could go tonight, maybe. I guess. I don't know. Are they open tonight? Uh. Hang on one second. All right. Mazzy's is open. But um. Should I challenge Ben now and then maybe actually get to play him? <laughs> Perhaps, Barack mm. Obama. But your challenge will disappear after a while. Good game. So let's take a look. Uh, your opponent did not play the best, I have to say. I mean, Boris. He, yeah, even the opening was... Pretty poor. On GG Boris. Well, it's, you know, well, we can say that nice. <laughs> I just call him like I see him. I'm a whale biologist. No, we, <laughs> no, it's fine, Boris. <laughs> Stage fright. <laughs> so, Boris, here's how I would recommend you to play against the London. Uh, first of all, get this going, right? C5, Knight, C6. Hey, wait, real quick. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But by the way, like we we took the autofocus off the camera. Yes. So let us know if it gets out of focus. But theoretically, it should just stay the same. We felt like it was bothering us. Anyway, keep going. And then you should play bishop d6. It's very important for us to fight for the e5 square. That's what white really wants mm -hmm. in this opening. And, and you got a challenge. When you play with bishop e7, that, that's a little bit too passive. And white's happy to, to jump in. Also, knight c6 is bad because you block your c-pawn. This was all good. Now you played bishop. So you lost a tempo there. That was good. And obviously, this move hung the knight. That's not best. Uh, but it's already a tough position for you. You wasted a tempo here. Rook e8 is not helping because she blocked e5. Knight on c6 is misplaced, and you can't even trade it because you get forked. You can take with the bishop, but then you lose the bishop pair. So you don't really have a great move here. You, know, you can't even play b6 because, you know, this is hanging. Uh, so maybe you could try knight e7, but I don't know. I, I already think it could be it could be pretty bad. It could be, like, close to losing here for black, as it were. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> like I said, Boris, bishop d6 is better. <laughs> All right, so here you have forced mate. Uh, like you said, you didn't see queen h7 yet. Yeah, yeah. But this is going to be mate here. Only legal move, because your knight guards the square. Uh, and then here, uh, and then mate. Yeah. I knew I missed stuff. But knight yeah. c6 is still crushing. But then I saw, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do it. Yeah, because I was attacking the queen. Always repeat, that's good. If I were him, I'd run this way. Bishop g6 is good. Now you have mate in two, which you played the first move, but then you didn't play mate. I know, I did I didn't see it, and then I saw it. And then after here, he has to take with the queen <laughs> or king, I guess, to not get mated in one, but he picked the only way to yeah. get mated and then mate. <laughs> so you pretty much crushed it. You only played a couple inaccuracies here and there, yeah. and you were still totally winning, but you could have mated faster. All right, well, GG Boris, what, what is the point of repeating, says the Rock of Bomb? There are a lot of reasons to repeat. Uh, one is that your opponent might not repeat and play a bad thing instead. Because, you know, they don't want to repeat for some reason. Uh, another thing is to, if you're playing with increment, which we're not here, to gain time on the clock. Another one is for psychological reasons. If you're better and you're repeating, your opponent might think that they're going to about to draw the game. And then when you don't draw, they have to keep playing. They don't like that. Basically, there's no harm in repeating. It can only help. As long as you don't repeat too many times, it's a draw. So that's mm -hmm. why you, those are some, just some of the reasons why you would always repeat. 
But are you, did you want to get on with the lesson now? Yeah, let's do a little lesson. Yeah, I figured. I'm sorry that we're having to do a shorter stream today. Just It's hard on Tuesdays to get started early enough because we're open. The club is open. Yeah. Today just did not happen. All right, I'll set up this uh, this position. Two exciting players here. Now, what is this? Coolness under fire. Yeah. You got to be like Fonz. That's an unusual section. Yeah. Yeah, but it fits with the defensive portion of this book. Hey, I think the focus is better. Yeah. I think it focused up. Yeah, I think because... Um, we turned off that autofocus. We had it focused at the time that we turned it off. It was already mm -hmm. focused. Yay. All right, this is black <laughs> to play. Hey, Finn Beingold, how's it going? Well, Finn Beingold's in here? Mm -hmm. He's pretty strong. Now I have to make sure my analysis makes sense. Well, usually it's 50-50. You know, All right. This is uh, Coolness Under Fire, as Karen said. Black to play. Shirov against Vashir Lagrav from 2011. So a pretty young MVL. This position appears very dangerous for black. White threatens to play f6 check, followed by queen h6, with typical mating ideas on g7 and h7. I guess this is how you get to h7. Uh, nor can black prevent the pawn's advance, since if black plays f6, question mark, never do that. Knight f4. Thank you, Finn Bongo, for that sub. Thank you. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, MVL has been in a little slump. <clears throat> you know, it's really mm -hmm. his Nidorf has been getting crushed. The really? Nidorf got crushed in the in Vicon site this year. Nidorf lost many, like Grandilius lost Nidorfs. Obviously, Vashir Lagrav, like I mentioned. I didn't That's realize tough. that all those losing games were Nidorfs. Well, not all of them, but a lot. Um, yeah, really? A lot wow. of them lost Nidorfs, yeah. Hmm. Nevertheless, by keeping a cool head, black can not only defend, but even put white under pressure. This looks like it's probably a Grunfeld, huh? I don't know. It's hard to tell. But, you know, this looks like some Grunfeld stuff. And he also played, uh, you know, g6, bishop g7, obviously, frankly. Mm. But anyway, so he goes, rook takes c1. When defending... It's often a good idea to swap off pieces even if you can't see a concrete line in which the exchange proves useful. In this case, the rook exchange helps black because later he can obtain counterplay by checking with his queen on c5 or on the first rank. I guess we'll have to take his word on that for now, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> Doesn't seem yeah. Like that's too fe feasible. Well, the Rock Obama, yeah, Magnus should probably not stream. Because that, I think that would take away from all his chess study. That's true. But um, he does stream a, a little bit. A little for bit. Chess 24. Yeah, every once in a while, he's good. He's <laughs> we were good talking streamer. about the stream he had where his camera kept falling down. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, damn it! It puts it back up. <laughs> I always go I Google that after you tell me about yeah, that. Too the first funny. One. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Black will need his knight to help defend. That's true. Check. And queen g5. Black can't, or white cannot play for mate at once. For example, if rook f3 to h6, h3 even, queen takes f6, your rook didn't defend this anymore. Mm -hmm. Or if you play queen h6 at once, the move that probably most people would consider first, threatens mate. Mm -hmm. Rook g8, this is why he didn't play king g8, so you can play rook g8 here. Here, getting the double ready. Also, this threatens to take. That's mate takes and rook at h3 mate. So here, now if you take and rook h3, we can block with the queen. So uh, queen g5, queen c5, and queen h5. The attack is repulsed in both cases. Playing the queen to g5, as in the game, helps defend the f6 pawn, and so threatens this idea or even up to the fourth rank. Moreover, in many lines, white is able to play e5 and include the d3 bishop. 
in the attack. Mm -hmm. so, oh, yeah, but it was a good stream. Sorry. Talking about <clears throat> um, him drinking beers. And playing Gambit. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a good streamer. He should just not do it, though. Yeah, I saw, like, his first four or five streams, but then I stopped paying attention. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was cool, you know. Queen d6, x clam. The only move not to lose by force. Passive defense is hopeless. For example, rook g8, question mark. Rook f4. This? If bishop c8, that'll lose to the idea of g4, which blocks the bishop, followed by rook h3, queen h4. So I understand. Imagine white gets all those moves in. If you play h5, queen mm -hmm. takes h5. G takes, rook takes, queen h6, rook takes h6, mate. I can't visualize it. And say it again. So imagine we've got, we doubled up. Okay. And you've played uh, h5 to stop mate, you know? Queen takes h5, sacrificing the queen. Okay. G takes. All right. Rook takes, check. The only legal move is to block with the queen, and then rook takes h6, mate. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, instead of bishop c8... His was, main line is knight b4. I was looking at something else while you were, before you were saying that, but it was, didn't work. Where you just sack the rook. I was looking at sacking the rook. It didn't work. <clears throat> this threatens here. Ah, because if you trade queens, knight f7, mate. Oh, yeah. So. Bishop e6, protecting f7. Knight f3. There's no defense against rook takes h7, check. Queen h4, check. Queen blocks, and knight g5. There's no defense to the threat of rook h7 winning. When defending, it's important not to play a passive move such as rook g8, which was the first move of this variation, voluntarily. You should wait until it's forced. The move played, queen d6, prevents e5 uh, and by white and puts the queen where it can retreat to either f8, or it can either retreat to f8 if necessary, or continue counterplay to b4 or a3. Hey, a counterplay on the queen <clears throat> side. Yeah. Hey, Fab, a, o, x, c. Knight g3, question mark. White threatens, or... Oh, here white threatens knight f5. But this is easily countered, and then the knight proves to be poorly placed. The best line is rook f4, x clam. Rook e8, x clam. Clearing the way for queen f8, but also controlling e5. Rook h4, queen f8, x clam. If <clears throat> king g8, question mark. Knight g3, bishop c8. Knight h5. Queen b4, trying to get some counterplay like he mentioned. h3. Now if you check on the back rank, I can run away safely. He says this gives white a winning attack. I mean, this move looks scary, but can you go here? Then can I sack the queen? And play knight g7, king g8. No, I, that didn't work. King g8, then I can't continue. I mean, this looks scary. I don't really see the threat, you know. It was White's turn again. I guess he would just like play Queen H six and move his knight. Like for example, Queen H six, Queen F eight, Knight G seven, threatening on H seven, with the doubled uh, major pieces. Which there's no defense to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean he could play Queen F eight first, but okay, and then Queen B four look kind of silly. In this variation, instead of King G eight, Queen F eight is X clan. This is the main line of this variation that didn't happen in the game. Knight f4, knight e5, knight h3. Trying to get into move the queen and play g5. He also gives this long variation here. Dubious. Here comes the passed pawn. It's too strong, so we should take it. x clan.
This favors black due to white's weak e-pawn. This line is an example of returning material to uh, diffuse the attack. Although I did have some questions about some of these moves, right? Those moves all made sense. But like, for example, here, I'd be tempted to trade queens. But I guess his move just wins the pawn. Then he plays king h1 clearly because he's trying to avoid... I don't know what he's trying to avoid. I guess it's like e5. Oh, this is what it is. He'd like to play e5, but then there's this check and then takes the pawn. So that, that wouldn't make sense if white did that. So he's sort of getting out of the way of that. Here hits a double attack, though, so he doesn't have time to play e5 and protect his pawn. And then he gives away some material and... Okay, now black is safe, yeah. Black is safe here. And black's just better because he's got a better structure and and no no problems. Just a better structure for free, actually. Like, even why h3, I'm not entirely sure. Like, couldn't he try... Okay, so he wants king h1 for the reasons we discussed earlier. If here, check... But king h1, then his back rank is also weak. This is what Nunn was talking about when he traded rooks at the first move of this mm -hmm. example. He said the back rank or c5 could be weak, and he was right. Probably because he already saw the game. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> That's true. You got in a game the rock Obama over the board for the first time in a while. Well, that's good. That is pretty cool. Yeah. So the main line of this variation, again, this wasn't played in the game, is knight h3 instead of bishop b5 and then push the d-pawn, etc., as we saw. Uh, knight d7, <clears throat> queen f4, knight g5, that's the point of knight h3, h5, rook h5, x-clam, with the idea of queen f5, I'm assuming, well, maybe it was queen h6 after, you know, takes, queen f5, queen h6, but, okay, we'll look at that in a second, he also gives g4, question mark, that looks like a pretty natural move, like, usually when you're attacking the guy, and mm -hmm. he plays h5, g4 is the break that you want, Knight e5, bishop b5, rook c8, x clam, queen takes, rook c5 is good for black. I mean, he didn't lose material. And also, still, white's king is, like, pretty weak. If I take the bishop, I start checking you, my queen can come into the attack pretty quick, too. Also, I've got a pawn. I mean, he's got a lot of counterplay. Yeah. He's just got a ton of counterplay. Hey, kangaroo, how's it going? So rook h5, again, the main line of this variation that wasn't played. Takes. Yeah, if queen f5, queen h6, I think, is fine. So he gives knight h7, x-clam. A shocking move. But it forces perpetual check. Because if you move the queen away, it's mate. So you got to take it. But then check check with a draw perpetual check well I was kind of wondering if I could try to win you know check I guess not I guess not because if you go here to try to do this rook takes protects the h pawn so he has to settle for perp and yeah queen f5 you can't play king h8 because now I can uh, I move my queen instead of my pawn so I can take it I mean, even that might be a draw, though, right? Yeah, still a draw, right? Mm -hmm. Probably. Unless you could play some subtle move. Maybe you could do that, actually. But anyways. Anyways. Black doesn't have to allow that. Just go here. Yeah. So that was a lot of long variations there. So Rick F4... The perp is the best variation both sides can do. So very complicated in, in all of those lines, I would say. Oh, yeah, I heard you say hi to Kangaroo. How's it going, mm -hmm. Kangaroo? <clears throat> yeah, we're doing a shorter stream today, Kangaroo. We got started late. We've just got to get... Tuesdays are tough to get a stream in, I have to say. So he played knight g3, question mark. Rook g8, exclam. Suddenly the attack collapses. The only aggressive move is rook f4, which he didn't play. But then queen c5, x-clam. Check. 
Can't block with the rook because your queen would hang. Always do that anyway. D3. Followed by queen e3 check d2 wins for black. The pin along this diagonal paralyzes white. You can't go here because I'll trade queens. And even if you sacrifice for mate, we have queen h6 still. I have to give back our queen and be up a rook. So he didn't play rook f4. He played bishop c4. No, oh, you just played in a tournament. <clears throat> Sorry that, to hear, but that didn't seem too bad. Five. Oh, you were fifth out of seven. What? Oh, yeah, I think that's what you're saying. Okay, maybe that wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Squire. And Shirov resigned. Two queens. I thought the French hated <clears throat> queens. But, you know, he got two of them. So great defense by Maxime. Like he said, he was pretty cool under pressure. He didn't do anything too committal. He brought his pieces back. Had to play that move. Queen d6 was a really strong defense. Gives him the option to play queen f8 in the future, and it puts pressure here, and it stops this, and it also even can get counterplay, as we saw in many variations, on uh, on the queen side, or even queen c5. That was a, mm. a key move, a key defensive move, and this was the mistake. Rook f4, it's still complicated after rook f4. Rook g8, x clam. This move is, he can play queen f8, but also, you can't, like, hop in with your knight now, I just take it, because you don't have mate anymore. Yeah. So rook g8 was a nice defense too to stop the knight from hopping in. And now he's uh, he's done for for the rest of the game. There are no comments. He just had no threats, and the guy queened the pawn. Yeah, it did get a little complicated here, but Vashir always had it under control. Yeah, so there's nothing to do now. Up two queen, or up a queen, you know. Mm -hmm. Good game. Scored 5 out of 7 against all lower-rated players. Well, 5 out of 7 is not too bad. I mean, it depends how low-rated they are, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much shorter Scottish Demon Goat. Um, you know, maybe we'll go to 5.20 or so. so oh, I should open the door. 15 minutes. Yeah, I guess we probably yeah. should. Probably another 15 minutes. Probably won't get to play people at the end today. But it's hard. Tuesdays are hard. Because my kids are, do, they do school at home, so I have to wait on them to finish before I can come up here and stream. And uh, Spencer has two lessons, so it's just a busy day. None doesn't go into MVL's superior B6 pawn that wins him the game. <laughs> because it's obvious. I'd just like to note. <laughs> I, yeah, I read that. Classic demon go. <laughs> All right, I unlock the door. Okay, no people cool. can come in and ransack the place. <laughs> you got a 16 out of 18 on the arena. That's pretty good. That is good. Mm. Hey, is that the most famous fine gold alive? Your last name isn't Feingold. No, so they must be talking to you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm also not the most famous Feingold. No, alive. neither one of us, and I'm not. I'm top three, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But but hello, Chess. I can't thing. even. I can't see when it's neon. It's terrible. Let me just do that. Yeah, it was what I thought. Chess kudo. <laughs> well, <laughs> hola. <laughs> no, I mean I'm not a Feingold. So, no, I'm not the most famous lab, obviously, and Spencer, you know, is not the most famous. So, I guess we're the least famous. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. Yeah. All right, this is uh, white to play. Lupulescu against Nanu. I heard of Lupulescu, but not Nanu. From 2007. Mm -hmm. White has made a correct pawn sacrifice. His large lead in development more than compensates for the pawn. Nevertheless, he should act quickly, or black will play h6, 
castle, reducing white's immediate attacking chances. d5 x clam, opening the position while black's king is still in the center. Now it would be easy for black to lose quickly, but by keeping calm, he denies white a forced win. Knight e5. Not queen takes question mark. Losing to bishop e4. Takes. And rook c8 check. Yeah, that's mate. Well, I guess you can go here and that's not technically mate, yeah. Because rook takes, rook takes. But obviously losing. However, e takes d5. Bishop f5, sorry. <laughs> That's true, Buzzer Bay. <laughs> this is possible when white has a choice. He could do like this. You're the most fam famous bind gold. That's true. Castles, mm -hmm. queen takes d5. I can't castle, it won't let me. With a positional edge, or bishop c2. Give me that. Castle's queen side. <laughs> bishop takes g7. With a slight advantage for white in a complicated position. So moral of the story is e takes d5 is playable, but it's risky anyway to play e takes d, don't you think? You'd be kind of scared about the king being exposed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would want to play this, but then bishop takes b7 is winning. So he played knight e5, a good move. Check. King f8. Forced. Luckily, I don't have to castle with black. That's great. Bishop d7, question mark, loses to takes, and queen b7, simple. Uh, yeah, it's the same problem, like queen takes d5, rook c8. Rook c8 is always the problem here. Yeah, goodbye castle, that's true. I prefer goodbye horses. <laughs> I do me. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you, you know from uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Oh, I don't remember yeah. that. What? Tell me. Refresh yeah, me. he's like, uh, he's dancing in the nude, and it's goodbye horses on, and he's like, would you do me? I do me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, classic. That's why that, that song's most famous from that scene. But oh, it is okay. a good song otherwise. I haven't seen that movie in so long. Okay, now he took. <laughs> A6 question mark is bad. Due to this. Queen F5. White's threatening E7 check because C8 is loose. Bishop takes E6. Giving this up. And the attack breaks through. Yeah, this does look pretty bad. So he played e takes d. a4 question mark. The plan of developing the rook via a2 is too slow. Queen b3 x clam is the correct continuation. Hey, Joa. When white's threats against black's vulnerable king are more important than the two extra pawns. So he likes white here. Well, he doesn't make it seem like white's crushing. Just he likes white. Uh, after the move played, which is a4, black has time to organize his defense. He spelled organize with a z, even though he's English. Oh, come on, that's not right. Hmm. S. Because <laughs> he spelled center re, you know, mm -hmm. at the end. Classic. This is White's idea. Taking here loses to mate. You were hoping for a bad Hopkins impression. <laughs> 
Uh, but instead of hanging mate on purpose, he played g5 x clan, giving the black king some air with a gain of tempo. Also, bishop g4 is strong, he says. So white's uh, concept had multiple holes in it, actually. Two good moves there. He found one, and then he took the knight. The danger is not over yet. If black defends passively, for example, queen b6, question mark, then a5, queen d2, threatening here. Rook c1 hitting the queen. Got to defend the bishop. Rook d1 tripling it up, the fine gold gun. Gives white at least enough compensation for the piece. Like, if you play rook d8, I can take twice here because it's pinned. Uh, if, for example. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this doesn't seem like the most active piece placement. So he didn't play queen b6, passive move. Knight f3, check x clam. However, by returning the piece on his own terms, black secures a clear advantage. His queen is able to ret retreat towards the endangered king side, and he prevents white from taking on d5 because his a1 rook is hanging. Like this. You can't play rook takes d5 as in the previous variation. Mm -hmm. So he goes here. He could try a little trade, like this, trying to pick up d5 this way. Here, hitting the rook. This regains the pawns, but after... Black has a large advantage, due to white's weak uh, king side. And the immediate threat is rook h4. Yeah, if anybody's king is in danger now, it's white's king, clearly. Mm hmm definitely. Let's see, just looking at the chat, but mm -hmm. nothing about the game. No. So proceed. So he played rook a, b1, instead of uh, trading bishops. then took here. Here's Scottish Demon Goat's move. He's trying to create something, you know. And he got back a pawn, but he's still down a pawn. Black has consolidated his position and is a pawn up with more active pieces. He won easily. Hitting the queen. Oh, that's nice, because then if you take the queen, I'll check. And then you'll take, and I'll take with check, and then after you move your king, I'll take your rook, and I'll have one rook to zero rooks. Mm -hmm. So he just resigned. So Nanu beat Lupulescu. I thought Lupulescu would win, because I heard of him and not Nanu. But great defense by Nanu. He played a lot of very important moves. I mean, even here, D5, and after d5, knight e5 is a good one. And not falling. I mean, mostly he just didn't fall for things that lost. Like queen takes, you could you could play that and lose. Even e takes is worse for black. Well, probably black's worse here anyway. And then here, not playing bishop d7, to, so you don't lose on b7. That's pretty easy for somebody this strong, I would assume. And then even here, not playing a6 is smart. He has to play e takes d. These moves are all kind of normal. G5 was, like, I mean, I wouldn't give that X clam. To me, that's kind of obvious. The dude's clearly threatening mate, you know? Mm -hmm. And so G5 stops the mate with the tempo. Seems too obvious to me. Probably Lupulescu saw this, but he still thought he was, like, he had a lot of compensation for the piece. But knight F3 check, that's the star move. Because now he can retreat this way. He gave back the piece, and he's just going to consolidate and win. Here, I mean, I would be inclined to take this way, but I guess if you take this way, it protects the f pawn because you have rook f1 counterattacking. Whereas if you take this way, he could theoretically take the pawn, I guess. That's true. You know, I don't know that he would. But... 
Anyways, it doesn't matter too much. He won back one pawn, but he was down two pawns and then lost. Because he's now he's <clears> still <throat> down one pawn. It is surprising how easily black won this. I mean, black mm -hmm. won in like five moves. A position that I would expect could take, you know, like 20 or 30 moves. Yeah. Yeah, he just won tactically with d3. Yeah. This ended, this, all these tactics worked out for him. Pretty nice calculation there with d3. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. I knew you'd like b6, Scottish Demon Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. King b1, what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but all right, so we got through those two. I don't know if you wanted to uh, probably play some games, huh? Um, I think I can play maybe one or two. I mean, I'm all not right. going to keep going too, you know, too right. much past you today just because I feel very sluggish. Yeah. Also, um, we got started so late today. That's true. The next section for your, uh, in case you guys mm -hmm. are wondering, is running with the king. Running with the king. So I'll uh, be prepared for that next time. You mean like going on a king walk or? I think running away from an attack. All, all these sections, the last few sections are all about defense. Okay. Oh, Buzzard Bait says that he bought the book. That's pretty smart. Oh, cool. The um, Fine Gold Defense. I thought he meant this book, actually. He might mean the Fine Gold Defense book because he was the original one that... Got four. Got oh. <laughs> um, inspired us to get, Fine Gold Defense, finally he get says. it on the story. Yeah, take. you're right. It was Fine Gold Defense. Yeah, forever. Later, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, cool. I'm glad you told me, cause we'll send it out. And I think I remember you you having ideas on the. How many times are people gonna do this against you? What to sign in the front? <laughs> night H five hang the night. Every game it's like that. I know. I'm slowly <laughs> getting caught up on all of my emails. And. It shall happen somehow in life. Oh, wait. <laughs> Good move. Okay. All right, well, GG. How come you're always uh, winning these London games in like 10 moves? It's crazy. You're, um, you're supposed to grind it out. You're doing it wrong. Ah, the Rock Obama. Usually our games are a little bit closer than that. But he might have been absorbed in our scintillating conversation. So here is your only mistake of the game, mm -hmm. knight f3. Because bishop g4, I think, should equalize. Yeah, yeah. So what would I play? Um, you like, I think, I should play bishop b5, maybe? Yeah, I think that's the best move. Yeah. I mean, bishop d3 also should provide some mm -hmm. advantage. Okay. Anyways, he played here. Come on, the Rocco. We talked about this. Don't block your bishop and block your c-pawn. Block one out of two of those things. Or, or none. <laughs> but blocking them both is bad. If you want to play e6 and block your bishop, play c5. If you don't want to block your bishop, I mean, if you don't want to play c5, rather, then don't block your bishop. Get your bishop out. You know? Playing c5 and bishop g4, that's a little risky because you're spending a lot of time not castling. So a lot of times black blocks one of them. He plays knight c6 to play in a Chagorin style or plays e6 to play in sort of in a Queen's Gambit style. Mm -hmm. But blocking them both is bad. Just look at the first game Karen played today. It was the same thing. It was the same thing. That was good. That's a blunder, of course. You got forked. And you tried your best, but still it's two things attack. Then here, this also happened in the first game. You took it. Was it the same way? I thought yeah, they, yeah, I thought the they moved unprovoked in the first game. The other yeah, game. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just moved on. But it was. But it was knight h five, queen h five. Yeah, yeah. And then you hung mate. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, GG. Hey, now maybe we can do one more. I think. One yeah. More. Okay, guys. We do have to end early today. Getting spooned is better than getting <laughs> forked. So we're gonna do one more game. And I hate that because. That means Joa. I don't get to play Joa. I love to play Joa. <laughs> Poor Joa. Yeah. We could maybe play, in, but you'll have to leave after this. 
Yeah. Not even the floor. Totally and I was thinking, I was hearing some noises. Oh, really? But it might just be the next door people, because they're loud too. Mm -hmm. Could be. The building does seem to make some kind of... Settling noises. Noises, yeah. <clears throat> Hanging the night didn't really matter because I would lose a piece anyway, except that I got mated. Well, you could have gotten a pawn for the piece instead of getting nothing for the piece. You lost the piece for zero pawns. But you could have gotten at least one pawn. But you're right that, you know, hanging mate, uh, hanging mate was, you know, worse. <laughs> Definitely. But yeah, the Rock Obama, look how Black's playing this game. Gets out mm. the bishops, played c5. Bishop d6 to control e5. That's how you do it. Logic Engine knows what he's doing. Both sides playing like Grandmasters. <laughs> this is Grandmaster play, though. There's, this is still theory. I had this position against Robin Van Kampen. The move order is completely different, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, I think he actually played h3 earlier because the move order is different. But we had this position, for sure. Yeah, knight e7 is the best move there. Fen Beingold. Although she didn't play h6 yet, so maybe... Or h3, rather. So maybe knight h5 because it doesn't hang the knight this time. I heard somebody come in, actually. I heard the door open. Okay, and close. you can go investigate then. All right. Yeah, you may not be, re be returning, I guess. All right. If I don't, you know, return, see you tomorrow. <laughs> but if I do, <laughs> Yeah, then Spencer has to, um, you know, tend to business here. No, I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Uh, All right, guys, wrapping up the stream here. I hear who's out there. It's just uh, Richard, one of our um, club members. Man, my, the fan on my computer is so loud. to get a new computer. That drives me crazy. I can't stand a lot of noise. I'm so sensitive to noise. 
Well, it's these um, computers are known for loud fans. Um, I have a Predator Helios, an Acer. Very good computer, but the fans are really loud. So I'd like to get maybe a different Acer. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it's better fans. <laughs> hey, April Coco. Yeah, I can't stand all that noise. Let's see. Really want to sack. I'm not very good with sacking. There's probably no good reason to sack at all. <laughs> Other than just to do it. You know. But, um, maybe I could try it. Let's see. Take there. Take there. Yeah. I'm not sure about it. I gotta move my night. That much I know. I guess I won't sack. I was thinking about sacking. <laughs> I'm sure it's no good. This night is pretty annoying. <laughs> Get a Mac. I do have a Mac, um, April. And you're right that I did forget about my time. That um, I gotta go a little bit. Let's see. I guess I'm doing this one. All right, let me bring it back. Darn, I'm not going to win this game, obviously. Let's see. <clears throat> Darn, that was like a that was a dirty trick. <laughs> Um, but valid. <laughs> Why didn't I see that? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Quinn. No, that was a perfectly legitimate dirty trick. <laughs> that I should have seen. That was GG. You're way better than me, but I, um, I felt like I had, you know, some chances earlier. <laughs> you can't navigate on a Mac. Um, it is different, and I go back and forth between the two. I'm not as good on my Mac. <laughs> no, that's like a puzzle rush. I should have seen that. But um, okay, I'm gonna play one more game. I'm gonna play um, Joa, and then we're gonna end the stream. So we're not gonna do any kind of analysis because I'm no good. But you know. Look at it with your 
I'll look at it later with Mr. Engine. But I want to get one more game in, and then we're going to end the stream. <laughs> no, I love to play you high-rated guys. Games are always fun. I usually get crushed. <laughs> but an exception to that is I don't like playing Ben. I'm not going to lie. He, um... Just, I, it's demoralizing. He just crushes me. So, you know, I feel like that uh, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's an engine at all. <laughs> Yeah, but, um, you know, you guys are just a, little, a bit stronger than me. I am from the South Logic Engine. Hey, Thaddeus. <laughs> How's it going? Um, let me go back down here. I know that Joe is always up to some tricks. That I know. Mr. Trickster. <laughs> Let's see. No, no, no. I know I'm taking too long on this move. That much I do know. Hmm. Alright. Let me try this. I hate to do, you know, pen here. Create my walk into whatever, create the pin, <laughs> whatever the terminology is. Seems wrong, but I didn't really want to double my. So now I don't know how to get up. Now get out of here. <laughs> Let's see if I do this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to have to do it. I can't just sit around babysitting the situation. <laughs> I have to make a move. And that's just the way it is. It's blitz. No, this just can't be good. <laughs> I mean...
Ah, shit. Ah. <laughs> All right. What you teach, Jawa? Um. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I feel like that I could, if I could just go a little bit faster, my rating could go up. But, um, yeah, I do need to place, I do need to place some bullet, but this bullet is just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed the game. Um, oh, you were playing some 15 minutes. I know what you mean. If you're doing some uh, slower time controls and you switch back, it's difficult. There's Endo Queen. How's it going? We're just about to end the stream. You missed all the fun. <laughs> Darn. Sorry that you're just now getting here, but how's it been going? I'm doing well. Tired today. Yeah, I'm really tired. And then I've got too many things I'm doing, and I'm not doing anything very well. But I'm trying to get all my work caught up this week. Thursday, Ben and I are going to go play poker again, or he's going to play blackjack up in uh, North Carolina. I think we're going to try to do that every two weeks. Yeah, tomorrow, Indo Queen, tomorrow, try to probably around 4 uh, Eastern time I'll stream. But anyway, i got a busy week. Tonight, I might even be playing over the board chess where um, the club's open. And um, it's a G75 which I love to do, I do love to do, but if I don't get paired, if I don't end up playing, I have plenty of work to do. <laughs> so it's all good. My over the board rating, I think right now is around 1300. Um, I got in the 1400s for a while, and then it dropped back some, you know, I'd like to get it back up again, if possible. <laughs> um, but you know, that's my regular rating. My blitz rating is way worse, way worse. You know, a thousand on a good day. And just like online, it's not as good. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Hopefully, I'll I'll get my rating back up. Hey, McJerkle. Yeah, I love over the board chess. Um, but you know, online is a lot of fun too. But um. <laughs> Thank you, Joa. Uh, I feel like I, my rating should be a little bit higher. But I see you. Yeah, we're about to end anyway. Now, let me see who we're going to raid. Um, all right, I've got my raid. I've got my raid. It's a small raid, but, you know, raid's a raid. So go over with the raid, you guys, if you can. We're going to raid a bigger stream this time. All right. See you guys. Bye.